Good evening. Thanks for joining us. This is a Signature TV News update. I am Brenda Etta. In the headlines, experts say employability of the Nigerian youth should be a major concern and not job creation. Presidency set up an anti-corruption unit. Court grants bail to detained Eastern Security Network lady. And now, the details. Professor Bilikisu Shinkafi of the University of Abuja, the Grand Matron of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, says education and training of Nigerian youth should be the major national concern other than job creation. She said that poor education in the country and lack of good parental upbringing among our youths affect their employability and therefore increases unemployment rate in the country. Shane Caffey stated this on Thursday while speaking on the topic, Youth Employment in an Interactive Youth Seminar in Abuja. Signature TV correspondent Chibwezi Ubi was at the seminar and now reports. The youth matron Bikisu Shinkafi stated that the greatness of the Nigerian leaders, tribalism, nepotism and favoritism gave rise to the high rate of unemployment in the country. She advised the youth to learn and engage in vocational skills, trade and farming in addition to their areas of studies as it would enable them to be self-reliant and widen their scope of opportunities. Sometimes we say there is no employment, but are our people really employable? Sometimes you have a lot of jobs that don't require your certificates, but unfortunately due to lack of dignity in labor and of labor, you find our youth not ready to take jobs that are not certificate-based. So, in as much as we look at unemployment, we have to also look at employability. And know that you have to go and learn skills, which is one of the mandates of this gathering here. In an interview with the media, Dr. Chukweme Ezeji, one of the patrons of the Nigerian Youth Council, said that leaders owe Nigerian youths an apology as they have failed to create a better future for the youth to survive. Ibrahim Kaya, the chairman of the patron for Youth Nigeria, told Signature TV that the only way to fit Nigeria's economic challenge was for youth to take over the leadership of the country. We should apologize to you for not keeping things right. Let's pray for conscience to resurrect in Nigeria. And the only people that take us out of the woods is Nigerian youth. The best economy in the world one of the best one is France. The leader of France is just about 40s. And when you have youth leadership nationwide, you have taken the control of employment. As part of President Mohamed Buhari's regime's promise to fight corruption, the presidency has inaugurated an anti-corruption unit at the State House in Abuja. The management of the State House said it would sanction members of the unit if they fail to live up to their responsibilities, such as to assist the institution in conforming through advocacy, reporting, enforcement, and sanction. State House Permanent Secretary Tijani Umar gave the warning at the inauguration of the State House Anti Corruption and Transparency Unit on Thursday in Abuja. The unit was inaugurated by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC. A high court sitting in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, on Friday ordered the Nigeria Police Force to charge Gloria Okoli to court on or before August 31, 2021, or be granted bail in the sum of 2 million naira and level 12 officer as bond and shorty. The court ruling is coming after 70 days since the intelligence response team arrested and detained Okoli for an alleged link to the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra's Eastern Security Network. Human rights activist and director general behind Bar's initiative, Harrison Kwamnishu, confirmed the development on Friday. Some bandits were said to have invaded the Zango area of Samuru Zaria in Kaduna State and abducted scores of residents in the early hours of Friday. Senator Shehu Sani, who represented the Kaduna Central in the 8th National Assembly, confirmed the attack in a tweet he posted earlier. 
He therefore advised Ahmed Bello University Main Campus College of Aviation and Institute of Transport Technology, located in the same area, to take immediate preventive security steps to secure lives. There was no official confirmation of the raid as of the time of filing this report. Veteran actor and former Tinsel star Victor Olauton, popularly known as Big Daddy, who celebrated his 69th birthday on April 17 in a Turkish hospital, has died after battling traumatic brain injury he suffered after the ghastly car accident in October 2016. His wife, Julia Olauton, who confirmed the death on Friday, said in an interview that her husband died on Thursday night in Lagos State after she had been relentlessly seeking support for the actor. And in the world of business, President Mohamed Buhari has announced the declaration of a profit after tax of 287 billion naira in the year 2020 by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. According to the President's aid in media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, the announcement was in a fulfillment of an earlier pledge by the federal government to publicly declare the financial position of the NNPC. He noted that the president had disclosed a net profit, making it the first time in the 44-year history of the establishment. President Buhari congratulated the board, management and staff of the corporation, adding that he looks forward to greater value creation for the Nigerian people. And on the foreign scene, Last-ditch evacuation fight took off from Kabul airport on Friday, a day after twin suicide bombings and crowds trying to flee Taliban-controlled Afghanistan killed at least 85 people, including 13 U.S. servicemen. The bombings claimed by the Islamic State Jihadist group injected further panic into the final days of an already frenzied U.S.-led airlift. The attacks targeted U.S. forces but hit hardest the mass of people fearing life under the Taliban who converged on the airport in a desperate bid to board a flight out. The U.S. President Joe Biden, under enormous pressure over his administration's handling of the Afghan crisis, vowed to punish those responsible. In sports, Manchester United have resigned Cristiano Ronaldo from Juventus. In a statement released on the official website of Manchester United, the club announced that they have reached agreement with Juventus to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. The deal is, however, subject to agreement of personal term, visa and medical. Before we end the news, a recap of our major stories. Experts say employability of the Nigerian youth should be a major concern and not job creation. Presidency set up an anti-corruption unit. Court grants bail to detained alleged Eastern Security Network operative Gloria Okoli. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activities to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News update. On behalf of my producer, John Onya. I am Brenda Etta. Thanks for watching.